Today we're going to be going over the February 2022 tier list and let's get right into it. So I'm going to go through all the meta decks and then <clears throat> some rogue options that we're going to have. So I'm going to be skipping things like ABC and other stuff for now, but first off we have Drytron. This is now going to be rogue. People are going to have to theorycraft quite hard because the reason they lost to Ava and now the deck really doesn't have that negate function that it has anymore because of that. After that, we have Pendulum Magicians. I'm seeing it's going to be a rogue or just any type of magician deck because Astrograph came back to th 1 and Skullcrabat Joker is now at 2. Lyrilish Tri Brigade is going to take a backseat uh, for this format because it lost the Recital and Somorg, so it doesn't really have the Floodgate or the way to get to a free F0 with the Ensemble Robin, so that is definitely one thing for sure. Right of Armesia, this is going to be a tier 1 engine, so it's, I'm going to put it up here because a lot of decks can use it, and it's going to be very interesting. I might even try and squeeze it into Flunderies to see how that works. After that, we have Bee Trooper. It's going to be Rogue. It's still going to be Rogue no matter what, and we've seen time and time before it has taken multiple tops, which is very nice. After that, Cyber Dragon, it's bad i'm not gonna even count it for now eldritch i see as a tier 1.5 tier 1 because the reason that we are getting stuff like skill drain to three and possibly many other cards also you could run a brave version of it so that's one thing to definitely consider prank kids they're going to be rogue because prank kids really haven't been doing anything after the limitation of meow 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 it might be tier 2 but they might be running the Brave Engine, so that's one thing to definitely keep an eye out on. Flunderies. I'm going to say it's going to be Tier 2 because we are going to be getting their Journey and also Bird of Extermination. Bird of Extermination is a free extender that chain blocks and searches out Elbors or a Smorg Repulsion, so you could tribute your Empin for one less tribute. Cosmos, this deck's been bad forever but even though three e is there it's very tempting of to try how the deck is elementary heroes they got another uh hero lives so i still think they're going to be not good as time and time progresses they're becoming more brickier brickier and also dies to a single hand trap tri brigade i definitely see being up at the top because of the, they really didn't lose anything it's a very balanced engine you could still run it in things. There's going to be more different variants. And I could definitely see Konami pushing these again when we get the Scareclaw archetype in Dimension Force. Salmon Great with two circle. I'm going to say that they're rogue. So that's going to be one point of interest for everyone. Altergeist with triple skill drain. They're definitely going to be rogue in pop up for sure. Light Torns are terrible. Virtual Worlds are probably going to be tier 1.5 because it is a very cheap and very good deck and i could definitely see people playing a weird skill drain variant if they need uh trains or earth machine i could definitely see being up in the rogue tier because skill drain is a scary card with night express night and bullet train because you don't have to pay your cost for bullet train to tribute two cards to attack and night express Night is just a 3k walking beat stick Evil Twin, I could definitely see, again, with Rogue, it's going to be more high-tier Rogue than low-tier Rogue. And that's where I'm going to put Altergeist as well. Because Evil Twin, Lime Twin, they are very scary of a deck because of how much they have and how much potential they will have. Uh, Danger Engine, uh, Triple Nessie really doesn't do anything. People rather have Tsuchinigi Noko and your Jackalopes. Phantom Knights now. They didn't touch Phantom Knights at all. They didn't touch Scythe. So we're going to have DPE Phantom Knights with the Adventurer token. So they get a free Omni Negate. So that's one easy out to a Hand Trap. They also can do follow-up play if they open up something like a Boots and Torn Scale. So if they open up Boots, Torn Scale, they go into those. Summon out Chirabini. Send your... Uh, Water Enchantress of the Hidden Temple and banish your boots, summon out your Torn Scale and get a search 
for whatever, then use your search for or your dump for your torn scale to get something else. After that, Punk, this deck is not really that good. Sky Strikers is going to be a solid tier 2 deck because we have more things like Regeki or even Emergency Teleport if you want to run a small little psychic engine to help get your access code talker out. Uh, Invoked, definitely a tier 2 deck. Invoked Dogmatica should all only suffer to need your servant hit to 2, but they could definitely tutor that in for something else, and it actually makes it more consistent, which is kind of stupid. Sharks is an interesting rogue deck. It is a lock of a deck, so that's one thing to keep an eye out. I definitely think a lot of these decks are more rogue. Speedroids, um, Speedroids too clunky, they have too much. Sword Soul, Tenny. These two are going to be interesting because they lost Protos, but I see them up in tier one, so that is definitely a thing to consider because Sword Soul could definitely do its exact same end board without Protos because that's how the deck functions and how it's built, and since it's too new, Protos was the right hit. Rocket Tracer, or just Dragon Link in general, um, with Boral End coming in April, it might be Rogue, but right now, it's not, yeah, it's good, it's Rogue. Trap Tricks is another good Rogue option for you guys, Dino's another Rogue option, and ABC is just bad, so, overall, I definitely see a two-deck format, along with three tier 1.5s and five tier 2s, so, there's still variety, but the game is going to be in a weird state where you're going to be seeing more Phantom Knights and more Sword Soul, while you're going to be seeing also more Eldritch and Alter Geist because they work under Skill Drain, but a little less on Tri Brigade, Birds, and your Invoke decks maybe. And Flunderies, I don't know where they're going to be because they're still missing Journey. They might shift it all the way up to a Tier 1. But anyways, I want to know your guys' opinion on the next meta. And tell me what you think will be tier one. Anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. See you guys in the next video.